December 14th, welcome to another Advent Calendar video. Today we're going to talk about how we can customize table views using custom table view cells and also how to add a custom table header view where you could put additional information about the data you are presenting. So let's bring up Xcode and we create a new project, pressing Command Shift N on the keyboard, a single view application and we're calling it custom table view and creating that on the desktop. And today we're going to use a table view controller so that you have also seen how to work with that. So first of all, we should remove the view controller that was created for us by the single view controller template. And we're again typing table into our object library and here we are, we have a table view controller. And the first thing we should do is making it the initial view controller so that it is directly opened or displayed when we're launching the application. This gives us this little arrow here. And we also need a custom class for our table view controller. So I'm clicking on the view controller hitting the backspace key and move it to the trash. And then I click on the app delegate, press command N and create a new Coco touch class, which is going to be a table view controller. So make sure this is a subclass of UI table view controller, and then you auto complete the class name. So I hit next and create this one. And as you can see, you get a lot of template code already, which is pretty great. So we're going to have a look at that in a second. But now we first of all have to connect our table view controller with that class. So I'm opening up the identity inspector and entering table view controller as my custom class. And what we want to do now here are two things. The first one is going to be to add a custom header view, which is going to be pretty cool. And also customizing the table view cells. And all we need to do for that is actually having a look at the prototype cell that is automatically generated by a table view controller. So we could, for example, just make this cell a little bigger and you can add pretty much every um, UI component you like. For example, we could add a UI text field, you could add image views, you could add text views, you can really add everything you need for your custom layout or your, your application that has custom table view cell behavior. And I'm just adding a text field here for simplicity's sake, you can transfer this concept to every other component you'd like to use and for every data model you'd like to use. You could imagine having a data model for uh, that would include um, if you create a movie application, a image view for the movie poster, a label for the movie title, a kind of a rating view that has some stars, you would put all of that into a data model and you could also add the corresponding UI elements to your cell. But to keep that simple, just we're adding just a UI text field. And what we need to do is actually creating a table view cell subclass for our custom table view cell. So to do that, I'm clicking on my table view controller class, pressing command and on the keyboard, and we're creating a let's just call it custom UI table view cell. And as you can see, Xcode auto completes the class name for us. We hit next and create. And there we have already some template code. And now we move back to the storyboard, select our table view cell. And then there are two things we need to do. First of all, we need to specify our custom class in the identity inspector, which is custom table view cell. And then what we also need to do is giving it a reuse identifier. I'm choosing cell again. And with that, we have created our custom class. We have also created our custom table view cell or prototype cell. And then we can just open up the assistant editor, select in the jump bar automatic. And as you can see, you get two options now. And you, you get the table view controller itself and the custom table view cell, which I'm going to select. And then we can just create a nice outlet for our custom, let's call it custom text field and we connect that and we, then we can work with that custom text field, add text and so on. So this is the first thing we did now. 
on our way to customize the table view experience. Another cool thing that you can do is adding a table header view. So I'm just typing UI view into my, um, into my object library and dragging my view on top of the prototype cell. And then I can resize this view just as much as I want. And I think this is pretty cool. And I'm going to give it a nice background color. And there you could add um, whatever you actually want. Uh, at, le at least it should make sense. But we are going to do some demo content here. So I'm adding a label, maybe calling it number of objects and making this a little bigger, something like that, increasing the size here like that, then putting it somewhere here, adding another label, which is going to be just, let's say, 10. Also going to make that a little bigger, increase the, uh, the font size. Yep, that's good. Making it maybe even bold. All right. So with that, we have a nice header view, maybe reducing the size here just a little bit. And the cool thing is that the header view disappears if you scroll through your table view list. And we're going to have a look at that in a second. So what we need to do now first is adding also an outlet for our label here to update the number of our objects here. So let's just add an outlet using the assistant editor, which is then number of objects, label, connect that. And then we can go into our table view controller. And as you can see, many of the functions that we had to add manually when we used a table view yesterday are already generated for us. So we have the number of sections, for example, we want one section and we have the number of rows in section. So I'm entering, let's say 20 here. And what we can also do is uncomment the table view cell for row at index path function. And what we have to do is change the identifier to cell. Now, before we get into using our custom table view cell, let's just have a look at the header view, the custom header view by adding just hello world again to our text label dot text. And let's see that in the simulator just to get the feeling for how this actually looks like. So here's the simulator. Let's have a look. So this is what we have so far. We have our number of objects. We have our hello world. And if I now scroll through that, the table header view just disappears. So that is pretty great. But let's now have a look at how we can use our custom table view cell that we have created and delete that one line of code where we use the standard text label of a standard UI table view cell. And what we need to do is to cast our table view cell that we get here from the DQ reusable cell function to a custom table view cell. And with that, we can access our custom text field and its text, for example, or we could also use the placeholder text and add enter info here, which would be the same for every table view cell that we have created for every of those 20 table view cells that we gen uh, currently generate. And if we now have a look at the simulator again, then we have our text field right here for all of the 20 objects. The table header view still disappears when we scroll down and your users could enter something there or whatever you'd like. And in the same way we did here, you could use a image view or whatever else you have in your custom table view cell to access that cell. And if we add another array as a pretty simple data model here at the top, so demo data, Add our array here, first, second, third. Let's just keep it that way. We could update, for example, our number of objects label at the beginning, change the text attribute, use string interpolation and just enter demo data dot count. Use the same count for the number of rows in section. So again, demo data dot count. 
and to configure each cell individually in cell for row at index path, what we can do is create an, a constant here in our cell for row at index path function cell data, which would be our demo data array, and we could use index path dot row to get this uh, cell data and then assign that to our placeholder or even um, use the custom text field dot text property right here. And if we now run this in the simulator, we should only get three rows in our table view. Each row should be configured individually. And you could do that with different data models. So we have three objects. We have first, second, and third. And as you can see, the header view kind of snaps back which is also a nice effect depending on your user interface. This could be pretty cool. And just as a quick recap on what you have to keep in mind when creating custom table view cells, you first of all have to create kind of a layout, a user interface for your custom table view cell. Then you have to create a custom table view cell subclass where you add outlets to your different user interface components that you have. In your cell for row at index path function, you need to cast the table view cell that comes back from the DQ reusable cell function to your custom table view cell class or type. And then you can access your data model and configure each cell individually by accessing the outlets that you have created. So this was how to use customized table view cells and a custom table header view. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.